Since the anime Love Lies massive success, a lot of other anime have wanted to share in such achievements. Since then, many idol anime have been made, but it's rare to see an anime that's as popular as Love Live because the themes and ideas of those idol anime have been overused. A bunch of cute girls that want to save a school's club or area, making new friends, getting into trouble and becoming distraught, being slapped by others, then waking up and keep on singing. That's pretty much the gist of it. Therefore, if anime companies were to revive idol anime, they would have to create a new idea. Going back to the year 1982, the first idol anime came out with Gundam anime. During that time, idol anime depended on something else to survive. But now that Gundam anime have exited off the stage, they need to find something else to depend on. Like a horse girl or a muscular girl. But they still don't get much attention like their senpais. However, right now, two anime depending on their unique thinking and respect to tradition have come to the stage. These two are Backstreet Girls and Zombieland Saga. These two anime have given me a huge impact. In Backstreet Girls, there is only one artist. Although this has occurred with some anime before, like Episode 4 of Occultic 9 and Episode 4 of Azure Lane, this is my first time seeing one artist be responsible for a whole season of an anime. <laughs> I honestly think some of the scenes where the girls drink alcohol is what the artist actually does. Although this anime does not have too much dancing, and not that many nice scenes, and in most situations they don't even move at all, like it's a colorful mango of sound, I have to say, it's funnier than I thought. Because this anime is about males becoming female idols, therefore they can make some unique jokes other regular idol anime can't do. And they won't keep using the same jokes, instead they constantly make new memes to make the audiences feel refreshed. At the same time, I have to give these cast voices an S grade evaluation. Even though some of them are still new, their emotions through their voices are very empathizing. And although I don't really think this is an idol anime, I believe the anime producer used their compassion to make this anime a lot better. On the other hand, nobody really expected much from Zombieland Saga. To make matters worse, Zombieland Saga almost became a failed plan. Before I talk about this, I have to mention a company named CY Games. Sometimes they will invest money to anime companies to have propaganda for their own games, like Ra'a Bahamut. In the beginning, Zombieland Saga did not even get approved by the CEO, but the anime producer decided to change the area of the anime to the hometown of their boss, Saga. And they broadcast Zombieland Saga's PV. Truth be told, this PV is very confusing, with a lot of weird scenes. I don't know how they can connect zombies with idols. And in the first episode, most people probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, even if you never watched Zombieland Saga, you have probably seen it before. Some YouTubers use this clip in their video to make this anime more popular. And Mamoru's perfect cosplay successfully attracted a lot of audiences. From the death metal in the first episode, to rapping in the second episode. And even if you think this is a very comedic anime, they give you very tragic episodes with conflicts of different idols from different time periods, implementing death and life. This anime perfectly incorporates comedy and tragedy together. If we separate Zombieland Saga into two different storylines, you can find that this is a very regular type of idol anime. The main character wants to become an idol and joins an idol group to save their school. My fault. To save Saga. Then they practice their dancing and singing, as well as understanding each other's backstories, to make sure they can perform better. Eventually, before their biggest performance, someone, especially the main character, wants to give up, and someone slaps her in the face to encourage her. By the way, don't slap other people's faces if they're discouraged, unless your battle level is higher than her. But at the same time, they will add some very funny plots in the story. And this can be seen throughout. After episode 2, the quality of this anime seems to decrease. Terrible 3D effects and advertisements can be seen everywhere. But honestly, I think it's pretty funny. And I think the anime group had those ads to receive money and improve their own 3D effects. Just look at the difference in quality. Are you sure these are the same people? It's almost a perfect template for the new century of anime. Since season 2's PV has been out, the first time I watched it without subtitles, <laughs> I thought this was a declaration of independence speech. <laughs> But now, it seems like the second season is coming soon. The main character of the second season is Yugiri. Now, I'll analyze who their original impersonation is and what will happen in the second season of Zombieland Saga. First up, Sakura. Her original type is Kaede Hondo, and she's also the cast voice of Sakura. Her experiences are very difficult. She wanted to be an actor since she was young, but it didn't matter how much hard work she did, it was hard for her to be popular. The moment she got her script for episode 11, she questioned, isn't this just me? Although I couldn't find any idols that died from lightning, according to a research information, 10 years ago, a top central idol, a career starting off as nothing, wearing a plaid uniform, combining these factors together, I Mizuno's original impersonation is Atsuko Maeda. Her original type is Yoko Kitahara, born in the Shogo time period, and died in the Japanese Airlines 123. The most mysterious character ever. Long black hair, and the only one that did not get back her human consciousness. She died at the age of 29, and her clothes are those of a nun, but I can't see any injuries on her body, so it's hard to determine who she's based off of. <laughs> Lily's original type, I guess, is Lily Elbe. She is the earliest member to receive gender change surgery. <laughs> Didn't find much results for Saki. 
But back in those days, many rebels and gangs coexisted alongside motorcycles in Saga Japan, so she could be an impersonation of them. And the last one, the main character of season 2. According to my research, her original type could be two people, the first being Takaheshi Oden. She is the last female to ever be executed like this in Japan. According to Google, Yugiri died in the year 1882. During that time, Japan changed their execution to hanging. So in the first episode, she is seen walking around with her head up. But also, according to what Kotaro said, from the turbulent time spanning the death of the shogunate to the Meiji era, she was there at the moment of revolution. Thus, it would be safe to conclude that the second original impersonation could be Nakanishi Kimio. With her help, many reformers were able to escape the pursuit of the shogunate. Before I go on to the next part, I need to talk about someone named Xu Fu. He was the one that tricked Qing Shi Huang, first emperor of China, and led 3,000 boys and girls to find the elixir of life for the emperor. And the first place they go is Saga Japan. In Saga, they even have a monument to show where his first place he went to Japan was. And in episode 11 of the anime, the bar's name is New Jofoku, written in hanji meaning New Shu Fu. And the picture in front of the bar is Shu Fu Choju Kan, a herb center. And even behind the bar, there is a picture of Shu Fu himself. So it's quite clear to see that the reason they turn into zombies is related to Shu Fu and the elixir of life. In the second season, they'll probably talk about Yugiri's backstory, add in Tai's memories, and perhaps even add in info about Shu Fu and the elixir. But I don't want the anime to be a little dark, so I prefer to still retain its comedy style. The reason I wanted to make this video was to give an example of anime, like Backstreet Girls and Zombieland Saga. Just like in the first episode, Kotaro told Sakura, Nobody gave you any hope and nobody has any expectations for you. The anime company had no money, but they still created such a legendary anime. Zombieland Saga even revived the whole city of Japan in real life. And now look at some anime. They have so many fans that have expectations for them and like them, but the things they give back to the fans is a bunch of bullcrap. 